This website, Blindspotter, tries to show if you have a blind spot based on news you interact with on Twitter. Here's mine. 25% left, 33% right, 42% center. Here's Don Lemon, 96% left. Brian Stelter, 90% left. Jory Reed, 6% right. Rachel Maddow, 5% right. It's weird these news hosts try to call everybody far right and supremacist for rejecting their terrible news analysis. Maybe they're going too far left and sliding towards authoritarianism and communism. What do you think? That was my 30 second TikTok and Instagram reel, but let's expand on it. I guess essentially that website kind of sees all the news that you interact with and then gives you that rough breakdown. It's funny because Sank Uger recently, or as some people call him Chunk Yogurt, has been complaining about Joe Rogan, even saying he wants to fight Joe Rogan, calling Joe Rogan too far right. And if you look at Sank Uger's blind spotter, you can see that he's 87% left, 9% center, and interacts with only 4% right wing news. Joe Rogan, on the other hand, hand, 54% left, believe it or not, 31% center, and 15% right-wing news. I would say it's true that Joe Rogan's takes on his podcast are way more right-wing now than they used to be, but the point we're trying to prove is the echo chamber. Myself, Joe Rogan, Tucker Carlson even, we understand the left-wing's takes. We get it, we listen, we interact with people, we research, and then we say our piece. That's something that the modern-day left-wing doesn't do anymore. They just say, oh, it's racist, it's white supremacist, it's too far right, Joe Rogan's crazy and they don't intellectually explain why because when you're trying to character assassinate somebody or use these buzzwords which mean everything and nothing you don't have to explain yourself you've given yourself the fake intellectual and moral high ground and it is true millions of people who are traditionally liberal like joe rogan elon musk myself tim pool are sliding towards the conservative and right-wing side of the discussion because the left-wing side is getting so insane we're not talking about bill clinton or jfk's democratic party we're not even talking about obama's democratic party we're talking about a party that wants to force vaccinate the entire planet and call you a conspiracy theorist and essentially relate you to a terrorist if you want to opt out of this medical treatment. Even Fauci recently admitted that vaccinated people are being hospitalized and predictably, he's saying because they don't have the booster shot. And if they could force you to get a booster shot, they could force you to get a second one and a third one and a fourth one and a fifth one and a sixth one. And pretty soon, because you've given up your medical freedom, big pharma, the government and the corporate class can force any injection or any medication on you at any point and hold you for ransom over it and take away your career, your school, or your life. That's why we're standing up for medical freedom. We're not anti this or a horrible person. We're just right. So Sank Uger, Don Lemon, these type of people, instead of trying to figure out why they're losing millions upon millions of people, instead of trying to figure out why they're losing the culture, they're losing podcasting, they're not getting as many views on YouTube and Facebook, instead of trying to really figure out why that is, they lean towards either personal attacks like Sank, or a lot of these platforms, they lean towards censorship. They lead towards, well, if we get rid of that opinion, if we can't smear them into oblivion, then let's just remove it completely and act like it doesn't even exist or it's too dangerous to talk about and then we'll win and then we're the biggest. That's like knocking down every tower in the city and then being like, oh look, mine's the biggest. It's like, yeah, cause you knocked everybody else's out of the way. It's not a good thing to do. It makes you a bad person. That's why good people are starting to lean right naturally. Even somebody that is liberal like Joe Rogan. If you look up the definition of liberal, on Google, it literally means willing to respect or accept behavior or opinions different from one's own, open to new ideas, relating to or denoting a political and social philosophy that promotes individual rights, civil liberties, democracy, and free enterprise. So by definition, conservatives, Republicans, and libertarians are much more liberals than modern day liberals and Democrats. That's not even debatable. So the reason that people like Tim Pool and Joe Rogan seem so right-wing now is because liberals are right-wing and left-wingers are acting authoritarian. They wanna control every aspect of your life, force medical products on you, close down your business, wipe out hundreds of thousands of restaurants, and then call you a racist, sexist, xenophobic conspiracy theorist if you love this country and just want to be left alone. And to just add something crazy I found from our friends in the UK, internet trolls can face prison for psychological harm under Tory's plans. Trolls could face two years in prison for sending messages or posting content that causes psychological harm under legislation targeting online hate. Wow, first of all, the Tories are supposed to be the conservative party in the UK. This is why in America we should be nothing like them. But also the nerve of these politicians. They did lockdowns, which was mentally and psychologically abusive. In our country, it led to childhood obesity 
obesity and record highs in overdoses on drugs, psychologically abusive is an understatement. Oh, but they won't penalize themselves. Let them pick out somebody online that says something that they don't like and throw them in jail. These people are authoritarian psychopaths. And this is why in America we prefer a strong right wing. Because when you get too weak like Australia or UK, your conservatives end up being anti-free speech psychopaths. According to the definition liberal, we are literally the liberals. Free speech, free enterprise, open to other ideas. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. God bless you. I appreciate you so, so much. These hats are sold out. I apologize. But we do have made in the USA sweatshirts, long sleeves, and white hats. My flagship white hat with the cool American flag tag on the back are available at dreamrare.com or godblesshats.com. Whichever domain is easier for you. Stay in touch with me.com is my free email list. I hope to finish my book by Christmas, so sign up to my free email list if you want a direct message from that. And have a good day. I'll be back soon.